Okay, in this video I'm gonna go more theoretical and I'm gonna explain some mathematical concepts to understand how it is possible to find the pose of a camera with respect to the uh, four corners of a marker. Okay, so for this we must start from the beginning. Okay, we cannot skip that. So if you are interested really and you're a researcher or a developer and you wanna know the position of your camera, please uh, Take a look at this video. Okay, the first concept uh, we must uh, talk about is that um, we're gonna define what we have here, okay? On one hand, we have here our camera. Okay, let's assume this is the, uh, the optical plane of our camera, and we can define this like that. Okay, this is, let's say this is our image, and this is the reference system of our camera. We call this X, Y, and this is Z. Okay, so, this is gonna be our image, okay? I'm gonna put it here in big. This is the image we have here, okay? And let's say we have a marker here, okay? And we are looking at the marker. We would see something like this in the image, okay? So, the camera has its own reference system, okay? Which is centered here, okay? Although, if this is your image, this is for you X and this is for you Y. Okay, but this is something uh, different, okay? But the, in the 3D space, this is gonna be what is called the optical center, okay, of your camera. So it will be in the center of your image normally. And this is a marker, okay? This is our marker here, the black border, um, you know, the binary code, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the marker has its own reference system which is center here, okay? In this case, this is X wide and Z, okay? So, detecting the pose of the camera with respect to the reference system of the marker is basically to know where this reference system is with respect to this one, okay? And this is expressed, like, we're gonna say this, like a, by this transformation. Let's say this is what we want to know. The transformation that uh, tells us how this related to this one. Okay. So basically, in order to do that, uh, we must know what this transformation is. Okay. This is a, a, a transformation in the 3D space. Basically, these kind of transformations are represented by uh, a set of parameters. On one hand, we have what is called translation, okay? We have translation, and in 3D space, we can translate in three uh, in the three axes, okay? In X, Y, X, Y, and Z, okay? So, basically, we will have translation in X, Y, and Z. But also, we can do rotation, okay? We can rotate our reference system uh, in the space. Rotation is a bit more complex and can be represented in many different ways, okay? Uh, in this uh, case, we are using OpenCV notation, which is based on what's called Rodriguez transform, okay? Rodriguez transform. Rodriguez transform. It represents our rotation as three parameters, okay? What are Rx, okay? Rotation in X, Y, and Z. It basically represents a vector around which our reference system will rotate. But in any case, the thing is that in the end, this transform here will be represented by six parameters. Three for translation and three for rotation. Okay? Next step. Uh, we have to talk about uh, uh, homogeneous coordinates. The basic idea is the following. Uh, in order to manipulate uh, points and move points from one reference system to another reference system, uh, we need to know how to uh, create, a, uh, to, to transform the six parameter into a four times four transform matrix that can be uh, used for manipulating points. So basically, 
uh, we will need okay giving a 3d point okay uh, this transform is the one that can move points from the reference system of the marker to the reference system of the camera So this is a four times four matrix that uh, we do the trick of adding one here. This is a homo this is called homogeneous coordinates, and one here. This is just a trick. And here this matrix will have this uh, this shape. Okay, R zero, R one, R two, R three, R four. Okay. Okay, basically into this four times four matrix we can represent the rotations plus the translations. Okay? So basically this part of the matrix represents the rotation in the 3D space, while this part represents the translation. Okay? So this is so basically we need uh, when we work with OpenCV uh, we need a one method to transform from the Rodriguez rotation here, okay, x and x one z, to into this three times three matrix, and this transform here is just the values here. So from these six parameters here, okay, we can create this matrix and this matrix is useful for moving points from one reference system to the other reference system so basically what we are saying here is that this transform okay is used for or to know how to move a 3d point expressed in the reference system of the marker into the reference system of the camera okay so this is the first step and this is basically uh, what uh, this is the idea of the pose of the camera the pose of the camera is this transform that moves point from this reference system to this reference system okay in OpenCV uh, these three parameters are normally referred as a translation vector or t back in the in the functions and this is normally the rotation vector or r back okay in the in the functions so that's uh, what it means um yeah 